Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Chris with the CRC. Uh, today guys we have been kindly sent a little package from the good guys at Basher Skins. Thank you Dave for sending this over. Uh, we are going to be looking at giving the FTX DR8 a bit of a spruce up on the chassis and a bit of protection. That's a new company guys. All right, You can catch them on Facebook and also they have a website. I will put links in the description for this. But uh, I do like the packaging straight off the bat. It's got this kind of, I don't know, maybe like nuclear feel or something like that. Something like a canister. Basically, it's full of some sort of virus or something like that. I like that. That's good. Especially being a bit of a sci-fi geek. That appeals to all, all my sci-fi kind of inners. But uh, that's that. So what we're going to do is move this out of the way a sec. We'll have a quick look at what's in the packaging. Bye-bye. So this is the packaging that comes in, guys. Obviously, you can pop the lid off. Oh, it looks like we've got some sweeties. I like that. Sweeties are good. Let's empty this all out on the table. But yeah, the packaging is nice and robust. I like that, that the way, obviously, the design and everything on the packaging is. So first thing, what's this? Stickers. I like stickers. Stickers are good. I think we're going to put that one on top of the DR8. But if you're into decaling your RC car up in some sort of way, that's cool. Some of them are going to go on my toolbox as well. Thank you, Dave. Got a little bit of information there. Let's see what it says. Hi, that we hope you're enjoying your skins. Let me know if you if there are any issues. We are still deciding on whether to have the skins on the white back in. Easier to remove, but holes sometimes need encouraging out, or just to cut out fully. We'd love your feedback on that. All orders come with free stickers and custom packaging. Um, like you received, the skins are available in gloss or matte finish. And if you want any more info, please get in touch via email. Dave at bashskins.com. Best regards, Dave. Thank you, Dave. All important, sweeties. We like them. Everyone loves sweeties. And these are the actual skin guys. Oh, I like these. These are really, ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. It's got my channel logo on there. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Let's lay this down on the table. Oh, I like that one. Thriller Gorilla. So as you can see, all the holes are cut out on this. There's the channel logo. So they are made out of this kind of textured motocross kind of stickering. A bit thicker than usual, so they should last. Especially with the way we run our RCs, guys. Oh, open that, it's going to protect this some. Um, but really nice design. Uh, printing seems to be a good quality. Colours are very vibrant as well. Nice. Uh, the bonus touch. I like that. <clears throat> and then we've also got, as you was mentioning, on a pre-cut background. It does seem like you can actually just pop that out mind. And this one is Bash Hard. I like that skull. And again... Check it out, guys. I like it. So by the looks on things, he has pre-cut all the holes in there as well. So I like that. I think what we're going to do, though, is I think we're going to put this one on. Only pure and simply because this seems, in my opinion, to be more of a winter kind of skin. Nice and bright. And with the amount of time I spend on top of my roof when I've traction rolled a car or something like that, I think I'll be able to find this in the grass, guys. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think what we'll do now is we'll quickly pause the video a second and I'll just go through what you're going to need, all right, basically to install this on top of your car. I am very impressed with the designs on these, actually. There's the full design on this one. And then there's the full design on this one. Nice. And just to kind of show you why we're doing this, guys, for anyone that's never used a chassis tech before. But 
is the reason. Can you see it? There's a few dicks. Nothing major, don't get me wrong. But this will protect your, your chassis now from all these knocks and bumps and bruises. I like it. I like it, I like it a lot. Um, so, let's pause the video a sec. And then we'll flip the DR8 over. And we'll start preparing the bottom of it, okay? See you in a sec. Hey guys, right, okay. So, um, this is obviously this is the bottom, looking at the bottom of my DR8. Uh, very trusty machine. I, I'm enjoying this a lot. Really, really good vehicle. Um, so to install this chassis skin, guys, all right, they will come with some alcohol wipes. But for the purpose of this video, if you need to rub it down even more, I would recommend getting yourself, and this is quite handy for uh, cleaning a lot of RC parts, some isopropyl uh, alcohol, okay? 99.9% .9 alcohol. Uh, yeah, don't drink it. Um, but this will clean any sort of residue on the bottom. Um, for example, I after washing my cars, I normally treat it with GT85. It's very important that you uh, clean off the bottom of your chassis. All right, so some of that. Get yourself some blue roll or kitchen roll or something like that. You also, I would recommend having a little hobby knife or just a sharp knife basically. If you've got any issues with screw clearance, which you shouldn't have anyway to be honest because they're all cut out. But if you do have any issues with screw clearance, at least you've got something to just quickly pop out the, the uh, pre-cut part. Alright, so that's that. Um, like I say, what we're going to go with for this this time is the Thriller Gorilla. And it's going to go over the car like so. As you can see. Now what, what I'm planning on doing is lining up a few of the holes to start off with. Like so. And then just laying it down. And that essentially is what it's going to look like. Alright, so we need to prepare obviously the surface. I'm going to get my rubbing alcohol. A little bit of blue rag. So yeah, as I said guys, thank you very, very much for watching the channel. All your likes, all your shares and subscribes. Um, all the comments. Make sure you turn on any notification bell as well. Because obviously that you get notified when any more content goes up on the channel. Um, but I have noticed obviously there's a lot of people there watching the channel that aren't subscribed. Please guys, if you are watching these videos... Make sure you hit the notification bell and subscribe because it helps the videos get noticed, it helps the channel get noticed. So um, this is a hobby for me. I'm trying my best, obviously, to, to, to build the channel and I really do appreciate all, all the, the interaction and basically the feedback I get from the channel. So if you could do that, that'd be great. So as I'm saying, all I'm doing now is just... I'll add a little bit of rubbing alcohol on there and I'm making sure that this surface is ready for the adhesive on the back. Okay, so that, my friends, is quite clean. Now, how am I going to do this? Let it dry off a second. I think I'll start. I think I'll start. It'd be good if we could have started in the middle, actually. Um, yeah, I think what we'll do is start very carefully at the front, maybe. I'll peel it back and then I'll try and lay some of the front down um, and then go from there. Press pause a second because what I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to quickly get a hairdryer. And the reason which, guys, okay, is once this is down then, what I can do is uh, put some heat to it. And so it'll actually, uh, the adhesive will stick thoroughly to the chassis. Um, you don't have to do this, it, uh, it doesn't say any way to do it, but it's something when I'm applying decals I normally do. Uh, so give me a second, just going to pause. Hi guys, so we're back. Um, right, okay, uh, I've got the hairdryer all ready. So what we're going to do now is basically peel off the, f 
front of the, the decal. Actually, what I'm going to do here is get my knife. Just going to lift that front corner. Do, do, do. There you go. Adhesive is very sticky. Right, okay, so my advice here, yeah, I'm gonna line up some of the holes first at the towards the front of the chassis, and then we should have it in line. up at the front so just carefully taking them so what I'm doing is obviously I'm keeping the cardboard underneath like so I'm just peeling it back slowly slowly all right making sure I've got all the holes lined up So again, start there. Are we still on track checking the corners? I've got to say it's going on really, really easy. Very, very easy. I'm impressed with this. Very impressed. It's going on so well. And that's it guys that is so simple to put on very simple okay so as i say the screws around the front here i'd recommend obviously lining them them up first so you've got a kind of good section of screws and everything there and then you should be good to go right let's apply a bit of heat on there just to make sure we've got all the corners and everything all laid down and everything tacky I do like the design on this. Um, I've got to say, I think, to be honest with you, with a, uh, it's probably easier, as uh, Dave was asking, I think it's probably easier with a pre-cut out one. I think coming off that is actually easier than using the bigger one. I looked at that and thought, well, that's a lot more material to, to work with. But let's just apply some heat, all right? Now, I'll try and put some music on this part, of guys, so you can... Uh, your you, your drums don't get blown out. Applied some heat on there, that'll help the adhesive stick to the chassis. As I say, what we did, just to sort of reiterate, we prepared it with isopropyl. Uh, we then uh, let the isopropyl dry off. We also then lined up the screws at this section here, and then slowly peed back the vinyl, making sure that the lines match up easily. And then to top it off, I use the hairdryer just to make the adhesive stick. 
But the overall design, guys, is this. I'm really liking that. I'm loving the little logo by there as well. But that is really going to protect your chassis as well. So I'm impressed with that. That's good. Um, very easy to install. I've never done this before, so this is new to me. I like that. That's good. Um, ease of installation. I'm definitely going to give it a solid eight and a half, probably nine out of ten. Um, it's if I like I say this first time I've actually actually ever done it myself, and it was very very easy to do. To be honest with you, everything's lined up neatly. All the screw holes are accessible. Um, obviously. You got your cut out there for your spirit. Everything's every, it's just gone really, really well. So I think what we'll do as a final measure is we're going to install the Basher Skins logo on top of the car. What do you reckon, guys? How about if we put it put it kind of mm. Put it there, shall we? Thank you very much, Dave, for sending this over for the purpose of review as well. I do appreciate it. Um, I'm, you know, glad that obviously uh, you trusted my opinion on doing it. I hope uh, the video installation was easy enough, guys. Like I say, very simple to do. Um, I check in the link in the description for Basher Skins. Um, obviously, you can then uh, go and purchase one yourself, but. Um, on Facebook and on their web website and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Take care guys